Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and as you can see I am in my outhouse. Yes, finally it has happened. I have moved. <laughs> Taking its time but anyway we've just got everything packed in the house and I thought I need to get all my bike gear up here now or at least some of it so I've got most of the CX stuff up here. Still the engine and stuff to come up but um, yeah and I've just literally dumped it all hence why it looks a right mess. I've, I'm going to basically clear all this stuff out and try and reorganise it because I have to fit three bikes in here. But anyway, along with the CX updates, the frame has been powder coated along with all the parts that go onto the frame and the wheels and some of the engine parts. And if I crouch down, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, um, I'll just try and shake it around a bit, but it's actually metallic black. Um, could have gone with gloss, a lot of people just go with the plain gloss black, but I thought, nah. I am going to go with something a bit different and it matches the kind of sparkle effect that's in the actual painted items and the it's just amazing. It was done by a guy at Stella Gill, um, I think the company's called Stella Blast and he just did an amazing job on it. Can't fault it. And another thing, if any of you have any worries about using JB, well fill in any imperfections in your frame, don't be. Um, the powder coater did say his methods just took everything off and the chemical chemical dip and just basically left nothing other than metal. It left the JB weld on there and it's coated nicely. So if you need anything filmed on a frame before powder coat, use JB weld. It's great stuff. So yeah, frame's lovely. I've got these also for the frame. These are these little bungs here. We've got two small ones, one large, and they basically just fill the holes in the frame instead of having these little plastic doohickeys that were there originally. These are from the Caf Racer company as well. It's a little extra. You don't actually get that with the kit, but it's only 24 quid, so I might as well get it. Um, frame's done. Moving on. As you can see, I have got my wheels all done. Um, I still haven't took some of the masking tape off, so I'll have to do that. I've got rubber on them. I decided to go with a set of um, Avons. Um, good, good tyre company there. Um, the back one has got a 120 on. That's 10 mil wider than the stock one. Um, the reason why I did that was um, the front wheels are 120 as well. So I kind of wanted them to look kind of the same width. I didn't want a smaller width back tyre than the front. And no, technically it will kind of be smaller in width because I'm putting it onto a smaller width rim so it kind of bends it in a bit but I'm not really worried about that but it kind of looks quite badass I think I just hope the clearances on my um, rear hugger are still all right but fingers crossed they should be um, that's all the painted items there I've got the tank under here um, the tank is hidden because I uh, mm. Yeah, I've, I've got a habit of just staring at it constantly, and if I didn't cover it, I would just stay here all day. Yeah, so basically I cover it, one, for my own protection, and two, for its own protection. Because if I stayed in here for too long, my missus would hit me over the head. Oh, uh, nah, she, she, she likes what I do, so <laughs> she wouldn't do that, but um, yeah. Um, next one, forks have been serviced, so those are in A1 condition. Fine with that. I've got to install the bearings and races in there. That'll be one of the first jobs I'm doing because I want to try and get at least the frame into a rolling kind of condition. So I'll have the back wheel and the front wheel on, and then from there I can start basically putting the jigsaw together, which is with the stage I'm at now. It's just sticking it all together. Um, what else? That's the rest of the powder coated kit. That's some engine parts, that's my T-Max, I've got all my nitro cars in here, nice shelf. That's the tank, I'm not going to look at that again. Yeah, it's it's still there, just checking, you know, that I wasn't looking at. <laughs> but um, yeah, the uh, last box to come to is this one, which has got my headers in and my radiator. And that's the basically the last bit of the cafe racer kit to come, so I'm pretty much sorted now. What's in here? That's a few more parts. That's the tank. It's the, the actual CXs, the early ones, had a cover underneath the tank, so this actually fits onto some mounts under there. 
I'm debating whether to use it or not because it seems to be where it's in contact with the paint it rubs away and gets down to the metal which I don't want so I might leave it off but it's in good condition so I can sell it if I need to oh and that's the swing arm down there see I still literally I just unwrapped this before the video I hadn't actually seen it it's been done for two weeks but I thought no I want my reaction to be basically how it is and I was like yep I was blown away so yeah, so anyway, with that, coming from my nicely, oh, I've got electric sockets in this shed, I forgot to say that, look. And another amazing fact is, my shed has its own address. Yes, this is 8A. The main house is 8, this is 8A, so I could live in here. <laughs> I think that's one of the reasons my last liked this house. Three bedroomed house out there, Kyle gets to go into the shed. We're both happy. <laughs> but I need a heater first, it's bloody cold in here. Like I say, it's got PVC windows and a PVC door. Can't really go much wrong with that, can you? And look, I'm starting to carpet the place as well. The bike's getting tread better than me. Oh, that's saying something. <laughs> you know it's come to that point in your life when you're starting to basically carpet your own garage floor or shed floor, just so the bikes are warm. I really need to cover them up. I'm going to get electric blankets for them all. But that's another day. So with that update, a quite lively one, like this is this is kind of going over the top of the roller coaster. The next three months it's going to just come together like nobody's business. I'm aiming for March, April to be fully done. End of March, end of May, April I mean, to then start going around showing it in May. I've got a few little things lined up so that's it. And basically there's going to be videos coming every week now. I'm going to get out in this shed and I'm just going to hunker down and get this thing built. So with that, and um, before I bore you anymore, I shall see you soon. As always, keep safe and keep watching my um, channel. Just as you won't be.